Christ our hope, Hebrews 6, says that Jesus is our refuge. And the word from chapter 20 of Joshua describes Jesus as being just like these cities. Now, now how would we say that and why? Because Jesus is easy to reach. If you think about it in the Bible, Jesus is said in Acts chapter 17 to be closer than an arm's length away from everybody. That's what Paul said when he was speaking in Athens. He says, you should try and find the Lord because he's closer, he's within reach. He's within one arm's length of everyone. How can that be? Because he's omnipresent. So Jesus can be cried out to, reached out for, prayed to, and longed for by anyone anywhere on the planet. Anybody, at any time. He is easy to reach. In fact, Jesus is the easiest person to reach of all. I mean, even with texting and phone calling, I mean, I can lose Bonnie in Walmart, you know? I mean, and, and I look for her all the time, and, and I'm strolling along saying, I'm about aisle 13, where are you? She says, well, I'm on 14, you know, and you, you, you finally find each other. Did you know Jesus is a prayer, a thought, just an outreached hand from anyone? It's just amazing to think of how Jesus is such a picture of our hope. Uh, the, the echoes of Christ opens arms are all the way through the scriptures. When the Lord called to Adam in the Garden of Eden after he sinned, what did God say in Genesis 3.9? He said, Adam, where are you? Who was looking for whom? God came looking for the sinner. And God came within reach of Adam and Eve. And God, through Christ, comes within reach of every person in the world. That's Jesus why. also is open to all. Uh, just like the cities of refuge were for the stranger, the sojourner, Jesus says, come on to me, all you that labor and heavy laden. I will give you rest. With me, it doesn't matter whether you're barbarian, Scythian, bond, or free. He says, I am here for everyone, whoever will call on me. And he said, I'm completely sufficient. Do you remember once Jesus was standing with his long robe with tassels on it, and the crowd was around him, and this woman gets on her hands and knees and goes down along the ground and reaches between everybody's ankles and finds the tassel of Jesus' robe and grabbed it. Any part of Jesus was completely sufficient. That's Mark chapter 5. And that woman was instantly healed because she touched, reached out, sought. And she couldn't get his eyes, she couldn't get his voice, she couldn't see his hands, but at least she got his, the fringe. Jesus is completely sufficient. If you get anywhere, any part of him. He says it's enough, it's sufficient for everything that you need. And finally, Jesus never locks his gates. He never says it's too late. I'm, I'm too busy now. And Jesus also is the only refuge. In fact, that's what we're going to cover tonight in our little church history installment after the concert. How can Jesus be the only way? And there'd be so many denominations and religions and everything else. And that's what we'll talk about. But he is the only refuge. So, Jesus is our hope. Why? Because he's easy to reach. When I lead someone to Christ, I was just in my office, had someone stop in, they came in for something else, and I said, well, before we cover that, why don't we cover something else? And then we'll talk about yours. And they were kind of captives, and so I went through, and I said, you're interested in getting married. I said, but that's only the second greatest day of your life. The first and greatest day is the day you meet Jesus Christ. And I went through the gospel with them. And I said, Jesus is right here in this office. He's easy to reach. That's your biggest need. His arms are open wide right now. Anywhere we go in the world, we can point people to Jesus. His arms are open wide. He's saying, come unto me. He says, I'll never lock the door. While you have life and breath, don't harden your heart. You can come. He's the completely sufficient one. And he's the only hope. That's the God that we worship this morning, and that's the Savior whose arms are open wide.